Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and I'm going to go over the Lyra design options to kind of help you through the back end and show you what everything is. And the first thing I want to talk about is this graphic that wraps around the border of the image. And this graphic is, uh, you're able to put it on the homepage header and on the album pages, and you can actually do it per page. So you can determine if one album has it on and one album has it off. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on our homepage right here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that in the settings, you just simply find the thing that says album type and you use this drop down to determine, if, to determine if it has a border or if it's plain. So you can just set it right there. Um, turn it off, you just click on plain and you click save. And you can do this for each page. So when you're setting up your albums, look for that option in the setting and you can turn it on or off. Um, the next thing that we're going to talk about is the design panel because this will have everything else you'll need as far as branding goes and for the options to display what it looks like. So the first thing at the top in this settings tab right here is the site width. Uh, we have it set to 900 right now and that determines the width of the site so you can change that just by dragging this around. We have the site logo here. We uploaded a transparent pink so that it shows the background through. Um, you can go ahead and change the location of that logo so left center or right and you can also add the link of, of where it links to so if you want to specify the link that's fine you can link it to a page or you can actually just type in the URL here and you can determine if it opens up a new browser window or stays in the same window the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and talk about is this uh, some of the color options now all of our color options you can either type in a hex code right here so if you have a specific color palette that you use for your brand, you can just type it in, or you can use our color picker like this. Uh, but this line color right here refers to this dotted line, and you're going to see that used throughout the site as a graphic element. You have the sub-navigation background color, and that sub-navigation background color refers to the text, the color that's behind the text of the sub-navigation. You have the button link interface text color, and that refers to, I'm going to go to the info list, uh, you'll see that the text right here is white. It's the is the white part of the text, and when I roll over, you can see that it's white. So um, that's the interface text color. You have the interface text color, color foreground color, and that's that gray that you see. And then you have the highlight color, which is the blue that you see. So um, then we have the image background color. If you have a if you have a uh, gallery. Uh, and you have some vertical images, you are going to notice that on the right or the left, if you center that image, uh, there's going to be some color that shows through. So we went ahead and allowed you to go ahead and put in your put in a color for back there. And every time you see me refresh, you could see that white color come through that we have it set to. Um, so you can go ahead and change that color if you want. It refers to that background color. And then you have the um, the image caption color. So let's go ahead and go back to our home page and you're going to see these captions come up. Now these captions are optional. You can have them turned on or off uh, per album and also for the header, uh, but it's great for search engine optimization. So whether you really show them or you don't, I would recommend you, that you put them in. But this, um, this caption background color, we have it set to white, and then we have the foreground color which refers to the text set to that gray, so it's the gray on the white. And you're going to notice that we also have it a little bit transparent and that's the next option right here which is the image caption opacity percentage so you could turn that up or down if you want to turn it all the way down you can um, but it gives it a nice little layer for the text to fall on you can also set your album aspect ratio we have ours set to 900 by 600 right now for this demo and you can go in there and change that if that doesn't meet the requirements of what you're looking to set your images to so you can change that here as well you have album ar arrows and those are these right here so you can actually change the color of those um, you have the thumbnail height so let's actually go to let's go to an album that has thumbnails and you have this thumbnail height and the thumbnail width, width and you could set it to zero so um, it'll auto auto place the width in there and then you have some options for the contact form so you have uh, the contact form stuff right here that all applies to the fields and so you can see that the contact form background color is white and that's this color right here and uh, that's the color that is actually in the in the field and then you have the stroke color which is this gray color right around here and then you have if the form is filled out and there's something that's invalid the background color will change to this color and the stroke will change to this color so it'll highlight we put in something like uh, a reddish color so that people can find it real quick and then you have the contact form 
text color, which is actually uh, the text that they type in. So if I go in here and I type in my name, it's that color. And then you have where it says your email right here. Um, that is the form placeholder color. So if you type in something to kind of prompt them and hint them of what to type there, um, it'll go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and go to the background options. So like you've seen before, this this template has a background that comes default with it. You can actually turn off that background. So you can turn off that theme background just by clicking false. You can also change the color. So if you if you don't want a background back there, you can just have a color. And we have a top and a bottom gradient. And you can just come in here and pick colors or again type in your hex code. We have them both set to white and that means that it would it would blend white to white and so it would be a solid color. You can change this to uh, a different color and it would blend those two colors together. So um, you have the option to just have a uh, regular color back there. And then you have the option to upload your own background image. So you can upload a background image and you have options here as far as tiling it. So if you have a, a small tile that you want to uh, tile back there, you can tile it, uh, tile it horizontally, tile it vertically, or fill frame. So you can put an image back there or whatever it is that you're looking for. And now let's go over to the fonts. And we cover the fonts in a, in a, a different video, but I just kind of want to touch on this. This is where you're going to upload new fonts. This is where you're going to change font sizes and colors and um, and uh, everything that is associated with the fonts. So that is the developer, uh, the design, the design back, back end. Uh, that'll step you through it and kind of give you an idea of what you have options for. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. And there are more videos online in our support documentation. I hope that helps, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.